So let's go back on to movement. Um, and I love how you describe it as movement because sometimes um, we use the word exercise and it scares people. Mm-hmm. You know, when really in reality, you know, 100 years ago, I mean, th- there was no such thing as scheduling exercise. <laughs> I mean, seriously, think about it. Yeah. It's because people worked physical labor jobs. So they were moving all the time already. There there was the, I don't even know if they, I'm sure there were some kind of boutique gyms or something a hundred years ago, but they were very, very rare. People didn't have to go to the gym because they were moving all day. So give us some tips how as adults, we can teach our kids how to, how to move. The, the two things uh, that I would recommend here working with a, a lot of kids is one, uh, if you're involved, if you're going to be involved in sports, make it a variety of sports. Mm-hmm. One of the things I see happening too often now, and I think they actually destroy it, it sets up for failure is you'll see like a 10 year old, you know, a parent will come in like, Hey, will you, uh, you know, help train my 10 year old? Great. That's fine. Like, you know, what sports do they all play? And they're like, Oh, he only plays he or she only plays baseball or softball the entire year. Right. So they're, and I think that's one of the things you get overuse injuries. I think kids get burnt out and I think it almost sets the stages. If you get burnt out with say a sports, when you're, you know, 15 years old, all of a sudden they have a negative relationship with movement, which causes issues down the road. Um, so the one that's what I always tell people is make sure you're involved. If you're going to do sports, do a variety of sports. And I'm also a big fan of just for lack of better words, free play. And what I mean by that, I think right now, uh, so many kids are so structured in what they're doing, where even if they're playing multiple sports, is it's not like, hey, uh, I remember growing up, like I played sports, but I also did a lot of just playing recess, like tag, hide and go seek, mm-hmm. like building for like, you know, all those different things where it's like there wasn't structured. I had to think about movement while trying to process things. But it wasn't like structured 24 seven. I think that's, you know, something too, that's really impactful to develop those healthy relationships with movement that carry on throughout life. 